So much to talk about, so little time, unless you've got 30 minutes every night to dive into the local sports scene. Let's send it back to our locals in Oxnard covering Dallas for a review of week one, a preview of what's to come, and some UTSA cowboy love. Joe Jonek, Brooke Shoemaker, and Marcus Floyd continue our camping in Cali coverage powered by Macomb Sport West. Welcome back out to California. The sun's setting. It's a beautiful day. The Cowboys had the day off and they were pretty happy about the way things have gone the last couple of days with this, this camp starting. What are you taking away from this very beginning of camp that you've seen, Brooke? Yeah, you know, I think that this is a really hungry team. The energy we saw out here, the, they're all just hungry to win. I know we were talking about it earlier. It's almost like this team didn't struggle at all last year. They look like they're coming out ready to win the Super Bowl, at least make a playoff appearance. Yeah, like they weren't 6-10 and 10 last year. No. Like they had they contended for the playoff and they were in it all the whole time. But that's not really where they were because they had injuries and that kind of thing. Does it seem like they have a different mindset going into this year? I completely agree. I think it's a more aggressive mindset. I think it's a more attacking mindset. And I think a lot of that has to do with their 9-7 and seven season. They have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Even Cole Beasley, a veteran of the wide receiver, said he feels their position group has been written off because of all their youth and inexperience coming into this season. And that has motivated them. Dak Prescott has talked about how the expectations have motivated him personally personally as well as a team and several other players have talked about that as well. And they seem to let the little bit of controversy that happened earlier in the, in the week just kind of just roll off their back because they decided that they're going to be focused going into this season and, and they can only be better because of that. Yeah, no, absolutely. There wasn't any word of Des yesterday that I really heard of and I was very surprised. It was just that one day and then brush it off the shoulder. And I know we have the missing faces of Des Bryant and Jason Witten, but now Zeke is back. Randy Gregory is back on the field. You know, the team's just really coming together. I think it's gonna be a good season. I think you touched on something there, Brooke. Even though this is a young team, they have the leaders. They have Zeke Elliott. They have Dak Prescott stepping up. And I feel that when that drama happened earlier in the week, that was a great chance for them to lead and show the younger players, hey, we don't care about that. We are here to work. We are going to be focused and we're going to get our reps in because we have a lot more to worry about come fall. Now, after a day off, these guys are going to have to come back and build the buzzword of the camp, chemistry, <laughs> chemistry, chemistry with each other. And that hopefully that'll help pull them along so they can all be better. You talked about it. You talked about it. You even talked to a couple of players about it. Even Jerry Jones touched on it. Yeah. We, we talked to him and he talked about how much chemistry this group has out here on the field. And chemistry is just going to make them better, right? Exactly. Chemistry also creates more competition because what's going to happen over these next couple weeks, Dak Prescott, especially with that quarterback wide receiver group, Dak is going to build a better relationship with those players, the new faces, the two rookies they brought on to the team in that wide receiver group. And the more they work together, the more they get a feel for each other, the more reps they will take and the better they will get together, which in turn creates competition. And I think in all of the guys so far, at least that I've that I've talked to this week, when I asked them, hey, do you guys have any concerns about this young team? Every single one of them has said no. They've been like, no, we're excited about this young team. They honestly said, you know, they think it gives them an advantage at, at points to have this young team and to have people doubting them. Now, the other great thing about this team is we have two local San Antonio UTSA guys. <laughs> Brian Price and Dalton Sturm. Brian Price didn't have the greatest day a couple of days ago. He kind of got body slammed <laughs> by Travis Frederick, which sparked the whole controversy about the, the, the hot boys and all that kind of thing. But you talked to Dalton Sturm, and he had a few comments to say. Yeah, he's really excited, and he's learning so much from Dak. I know, obviously, Dak gets the majority of the reps, and I think right now we actually talked to Kellen Moore, the new quarterbacks coach. He said right now for Dalton it's just about how much time he can put in, how much effort, how many, how many more reps he can get himself. I know, Jill, you talked to Dalton personally on that. He actually is rooming with quarterback Mike White, and he talked about how their relationship has grown over the last couple of days and in training camp. He's learning a lot from not just him, though, but also Dak Prescott and the other quarterbacks, and he's soaking up as much as he can. He says the gap is big, but he's working his butt off, and he's grinding every day, learning as much as he can. With the day off today, tomorrow, they get back at it. 
We're expecting big things out of him with this next week of practice before the day off in sunny California. <laughs> cold For, California. <laughs> <laughs> chilly right now. It's not cold at all. It's better than 105 back in Texas. <laughs> For Jill Jelnick and Brooke Shoemaker, I'm Marcus Floyd for Sports Tonight. McCombs Ford West will save you time and money on your next vehicle purchase on 410 West at Culebra.